What's up guys, Brian Douglas here, Big Deal Production. Welcome to a special edition of Production Life. And yeah, we've got a very special package. We are so, so excited about this. So let's get right into it. Let's. We have to wait for the garbage man who just straight passed us, okay. Now this package, we're gonna wait to last because it's so exciting. Oh, I'm so excited, so excited. So we're gonna put that one here. Now you can see me a little bit better. And we're gonna get my personal trustworthy knife that I actually got. Funny story, I uh, helped a dude uh, on the side of the road. Uh, his motorcycle was broken down and I helped him push start it. Gave me a knife as a thank you. So <laughs> it could be par part of a, a murder scene or something, I don't know, but uh, it's pretty cool, so. We're gonna start. I can't wait to see it. Oh, this is gonna be so exciting. So exciting. It's another box. Oh. All right, let's just, let's just get rid of that. Oh, yes. You guys ready? I don't know if you're ready. Yes, yes, oh yes. Guys, do you know what this is? Do you have any clue what this is? Oh, God, look at this thing. Oh, 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 oh. yes. Oh my goodness, you guys have no freaking clue. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. So excited. You guys are probably wondering, well, tell us already, what is it? Tell us, we wanna know. I'm not gonna tell you just yet. All right, we're not gonna throw this one. I'm gonna put that right there. So, what's in the box? You ready for this? Do you guys ever see uh, the movie Seven? What's in the box, what's in the... No, okay. Well, it almost worked. Oh, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Words can't describe it. I just. Yes, we have a DJI Ronin M. Oh, I'm so excited about this. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. Uh, next, got the tuning stand up. Holy shit, there's a remote to it? Okay, I think I got it. Oh, Jesus. This guy goes on this guy, this guy goes on this guy. So for the people that actually want to learn how to actually put this thing together, um, there are two carbon fiber pieces and then there is a handle here that uh, has the slots for both of those. So that's what you do. This is really confusing. Now we mount, oh Jesus, this guy on this guy. Aha! Slide it in till it snaps. Screw it back down. Now technically they say that you're supposed to do this on the tuning fork. I'll probably figure out why in just a second, but for now we're just gonna leave it like this. Next, mm, put the battery in. Which by the way, conveniently enough, uh, the batteries are charged to the point where you can go ahead and plug it in at the beginning of this process and by the time you actually get to the battery part, it's already fully charged. So that's awesome. 
So these batteries are a little different than the other uh, DJI products. There's these little spindles here, screws, where you have to undo them. And then somehow, somehow get them in. Like that. Okay, number three, mounting the camera. I need a camera. There we go. Got the camera. This is the Nikon D4S. I'm filming with the Nikon D5. I don't really know how to put this together, so we're just gonna keep reading. Okay, uh, mounting the camera. Attach the camera to the mounting plate, which I believe is this guy right here. One thing I don't like about the Nikons is that there's only one screw hole. I don't like that. Aha, okay, I got it. So on here, there's a little spot where there's a hole, but then there's these uh, screw threads. Uh, that's gotta go up front. So make sure you do that first and foremost. You get it nice and even, crank it down a bit. All right. So next, uh, we've gotta attach the lens support. This guy right here. Now the thing is with these universal fits, they're not exactly like universal because I can already see an issue here. I'm not gonna be able to zoom at all, which I guess doesn't, I mean, it wouldn't make sense to zoom because then it, it ruins your calibration. So let's just do that and there you have it. Okay, so that's what we've done so far. Put the shoe on, put the lens brace on, Moving on. Now. This is probably why they tell you to use the tuning fork. Ho oh, ho 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 Yes. See, you don't need the tuning fork for this stuff. We got this. Maybe. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and use the tuning fork. Ugh. I want to go ahead and put these on. It's just a matter of loosening it up, sliding that in. And since I'm a perfectionist, I'm going to make sure that it's exactly even, like so. There we go. Please make sure you put a battery in first because if you don't, <laughs> you're not gonna be able to get it in once it's already in there. So don't, don't even, don't, don't do that. That's a terrible idea. All right. And it's balanced. So we're gonna loosen up the vertical axis, axes, which I believe is these guys because they go up and down like so. Balancing the roll axis, loosen the two lock knobs to slide the camera left to right until the roll axis remains level. That's pretty damn close. Wow, it's super sensitive. I just did like one little notch on here. All right, we're getting closer. All right, I think we're good. Lock that down. Take the lens cap off.
balancing depth for the tilt axis, loosen the side clamp to slide the camera forward or backwards until the tilt axis remains level, and then tighten the side clamp. Oh, I suppose it's not. So that's as far as it'll go. Crank that down. Balance the pan axis. Turn the knob slightly. Tighten the clamp after balancing is complete. So. Obviously, I have it on the wrong way. There we go. Okay, so this guy needs to loosen. So now it's just a matter of finding the balance. All right, once you've got it kind of balanced, uh, they say to turn it on. Which I suppose it'll do something at some point. I say that's pretty balanced. All right, uh, so turn on your Bluetooth and open up the app. So let's do that. DJI Assistant. Would you like notifications? No. Of course, we got to register. All right. So it says device selection, device name. What should we name this thing? I think we should just call it Badass. All right. So it says check the balance in the viewer page. If a particular motor axis indicates a power greater than 10, please rebalance the camera. Well, I'm looking at mine, I have pan zero, tilt zero, roll one. So it looks like I actually balanced it pretty good. The next thing it says is to hit the auto-tune stability button. And it makes some scary ass noises. Uh, switch on and off the smooth track mode as needed. In the smooth track options menu, the settings for the pan axis, tilt axis, and the roll axis can be independently adjusted electronically. That's freaking cool. So, yeah, I see that. All right, so the next thing you want to do is actually connect the remote. Now, uh, according to DJI, uh, there are, there's the ability to have two operators. Uh, one that controls the camera, one that controls the movement of the gimbal. So you've got one person walking or panning or going up and down, and then you've got the other person that controls the actual movement. That's freaking cool. So let's connect it. Uh, turn on the Ronin M. Press the recessed bind button, which is right there. Pen. It says press. Where's that? There it is. Press the recessed bind button of the Ronin M once with something sharp, such as a paperclip or a pen. Slide the power switch to the right. If the LED tur gimbal turns solid green, the remote control and Ronin have been successfully bound. Oh, there it is. Yes, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that is epic. 
Look at that. Oh, yes. Look at this. And maybe if you're skillful enough, look at that. Wow. That is just incredible. There are so many amazing things you can do with this. Wow. And then when you got it all messed up and you want to correct it. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, this is awesome. Holy crap. This is great guys. Man, highly recommend this thing. It's not that heavy. You see, I've been holding it for a solid two, three minutes now. Totally fine. I have no problems with it. So, I am so excited. We cannot wait to get out there and use this and find out exactly how incredible our video is gonna be. Oh, so excited. Did I mention that I was excited about this? I, I, we're pretty excited. I'm just saying, just saying. So yeah, I cannot wait to get out there and test this thing out. So we will do a nice little review on it later on. Thanks for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. You guys keep doing what you're doing. We're out.